Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be explaining how the two number abstract operation in JavaScript converts different value data types to numbers. So whenever we perform a numeric operation and one or both operands aren't numbers, the two number or the JavaScript engine rather will invoke the two number abstract operation to convert them to a value of type number. So the two number abstract operation takes an argument and converts it to a value of type number according to this table in the spec. So undefined becomes none, null becomes zero, for booleans true becomes one, false becomes zero. If it's already a number, it just returns the argument and no conversion happens. For strings, it goes through a conversion algorithm and we're going to look at it now. So if the two number abstract operation receives a value, that is not a numeric string literal as an argument, it results in none or it results to none. If you try to do an arithmetic with a non-numeric string, it will result to none. But if the string contains a numeric value, if the string contains a numeric value, the result will be a number. According to the spec, the process of converting a string numeric literal to the value of a number type is determined in two steps. First, a mathematical value is derived from the string numeric literal and then that mathematical value is rounded up to the value of a number type with some steps described in the spec and we're going to look at a few of them. The mathematical value of a string numeric literal that is empty is zero. So an empty string when coerced to a number is zero. An empty string with just white space will be converted to zero as well. A string containing zero becomes zero. A string containing negative zero becomes negative zero. If you have a string containing um, white space, it removes the white space. If you have a string containing leading zeros, it also strips off, it also strips off the leading zeros. <laughs> For symbol and big int, it will just store a type error exception. If the value is a non-primitive value, I mean any of the object types, right? It will first need to be converted to its primitive equivalent. I have a video explaining how non-primitive values are converted to primitive values. And if you haven't seen it, you should check that out. <laughs> okay, so the two primitive abstract operation will be invoked to handle this, this operation and number will be passed in as the hint. Since number is the hint or since it gets number as the hint, value of method will be called first. And value of basically just returns itself, so it will call two string next. If it gets back a primitive value from two string, the two number abstract operation will receive that, that primitive value as an argument and convert it to a value of type number. Let's see how the two number abstract operation handles arrays, right? For example, an empty array when coerced to a number gives us zero, it returns zero, right? So let's see how this works. First, the empty array needs to be converted to its primitive equivalent. Two primitive abstract operation gets involved here. Two primitive abstract operation receives number as the hint, and then it calls the value of method first. Value of method basically just returns itself. It does this return this. When it returns itself, it calls the two string method next. When an empty array is converted to a string, it returns an empty string. So now we have a primitive value and that is an empty string. Now the two number abstract operation receives that primitive value as an argument, the empty string. Remember we saw earlier that the mathematical value of a numeric string literal that is empty is zero. Okay, so what if we have an array containing numbers, right? Well, it will get converted to its primitive equivalent first and that is a string containing the array elements separated by commas. If the two number abstract operation receives that as an argument, it will return none. Because the spec says, if the grammar cannot interpret the string as an expansion of string numeric literal, then the result of two number is none. Okay, what if we have an object? Well, the two primitive abstract operation will be invoked to convert it to its primitive value first and stringifying an object returns the value of the object internal class, right? The square bracket object object. 
Now, two number receives that as an argument, and we know that that is obviously not a valid representation of a numeric string literal. So we will get nan. <laughs> Okay, so I have a video explaining how non-primitive values are converted to strings. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. I will leave a link in the description below and we have come to the end of this video. I hope you understand how different value data types are converted to number. I hope you understand how the two number abstract operation converts different value data types to numbers. And I also hope to see you I also hope I will see I also hope to see you in my next video where I will be explaining the two boolean abstract operation. Bye.